Good morning, Jesse. How are you? Hi, Kelly. I'm great. How are you doing this morning? Happy Monday. Happy Monday. What a pleasure <laughs> this Monday is because we're joined today by the greatest ever, ever, Lucas. Hi, Hi Lucas. Lucas. Good morning. Thanks for joining us this week. Of course, my pleasure. We are going to talk about the newest version of the Galadriel plugin that will be able to be used on your Koha 1811 um, system, which should be getting upgraded come this month. As we speak, you will probably have a little news feature on your staff client with a date when you're going to be upgraded from our systems department. And with the new arrival of this 1811, we have the newest version of the Galadriel plugin, which we thought, who better to show us the new version of the Galadriel plugin than Lucas? So here he is. And for those of you who may not know what the Galadriel plugin is, it is a plugin that allows you to customize the OPAC very easily. And Lucas will show you all the nifty little features that it has today. Yeah. Um, wait, before Lucas jumps in, if okay. um, the newest version is, correct me wrong, if I'm wrong, it's 1811.1.044, something like that? 1.0.44 as of today. Okay. So if you get your new version of 1811 and you don't have the latest, you can feel free to go to, to GitHub and upload that. If you don't feel comfortable, please submit a ticket and we'll upgrade your plugin for you. Okay, Lucas, show us what we can do with this fancy tool. Okay, let's have a look. So if you have Galadriel installed, you can go to Koha Administration. Go down to Manage Plugins. <laughs> And you should see it here, Galadriel OPAC theme plugin. On the right side, I can click configure. And this will give me all the choices and configuration changes we can do in Galadriel. Um, if you've recently updated to 1811 or about to, you may notice some visual differences after the upgrade. For instance, the, the logo here will appear in green. These lists are a little different. They have green hovers on them too. Um, the search submit button is green. Um, while this is nice, it may not fit with your branding for your OPAC. So there's way, things we can do about that. Um, the first thing, you have to do in Galadriel is make sure that this box is checked to enable Galadriel. Um, this is here if you want to test different things. You can turn this, it essentially turns Galadriel on. We can do configuration changes. And if we don't like them or if we want to change things back, we can uncheck that. So make sure that's checked if you want to see the changes as we go. Um, lots of these are, are very self explanatory. Um, we can add a logo. Um, and control its height and width. Um, as for the changes that are coming in 1811, that may make your OPEC look a little different, you're gonna find a lots of them right here. Um, a lot of the changes do deal with this nav bar up here and the colors of the icons and, and the labels and whatnot. So, <clears throat> If I click on navigation bar icon color, I can change that to red. I then have to hit save and continue. Come back over here and refresh my OPAC. And you can see that's changed those cart icons to red. Voila. Oh, very nice. Um, this green hover color right here, can be changed. Right here you see navigation bar list login hover color. It's a long, long winded, but it works. It it's works. Good. Yeah. I'll change that to yellow. My favorite color. Thank you. Oh, that is not the hover color. That must be this one. 
There's two hover colors. One is for the wording. Correct. Okay. 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 One's in capitals and one's in lowercase. There we go. And one's oh, look how pretty that yellow is. It's wonderful. Yeah. It's bright. Um, and some other things you may notice is in 1811, we, we, loot, we, we get some padding on the right and left here. Mm -hmm. We'll not have had in 1805 or previous versions. Um, so we can eliminate that simply by clicking right there, eliminate extra left and right padding. That'll make your page again extend all the way out. Oh, oh. Um, and then uh, a lot of what's changed in this update, uh, another thing that's changed in this update is uh, we have a lot of square corners now where we used to have rounded corners. Um, if you really like those rounded corners, you can bring them back by checking this, bring back rounded corners. And that should, in most instances where there were rounded corners in 1805 or before, it will again, they will come back. Great. And the rest of the options are, are really uh, centered around color changes and um, hopefully the labels will be um, self-explanatory. And again, something you can play with and turn off at any point. Turn it off and show us the power of the off button. And just like that. Yeah, so now everything's but back to the default. Is it correct that you turned it off, but those settings are still like you had it a minute ago? Like the yeah. yellow? So if you turn it back on, it will go back to as I had it a minute ago, which is great for testing if you want to test at night and then turn it back off. You can do so. Just turn it right back on or off, saving those changes. That is, that's amazing, Lucas. Okay. Well, this was a great presentation, Lucas. Thank you for showing us how to make these changes in uh, the Gladrial plugin. Uh, again, for those of you who uh, are looking to explore and change these um, features yourself, uh, just go to that administration module and click on those manage plugins and that will take you right in there. Or of course, always send us a support ticket and we'll help you. Yes, thank you so much, Lucas. Thank you, Lucas.